I'm going to ask you a question. There's a lot of things that have gone on and there's lots of, not, I'll say bad things have gone on, but what's the one good thing that's actually happened because of this for you? So I think online has been on our radar as a, we must do more stuff online for a long time, but it's always, there's been a, there's been something else more important to do. Um, the post, we ran Boss Europe online in March. Uh, yeah. I spent quite a to. lot of, well, we had to, we had yeah. to. Um, I spent quite a lot of time after that partly feeling a bit sorry for myself, partly feeling, what are we gonna do? Partly being excited about what the, what the possibilities are. But most of that time was talking to people and thinking about how we design for a new medium, because I don't think you can just stick a conference up online and say, hey, that's the same thing. You miss so much and, and conversations with uh, I had a conversation with Jason for example which was fascinating uh, who was talking about uh, getting getting your design of your thing right for the platform and looking at some of the mistakes that people have made in the past so when web websites first came online for example people essentially made them CD-ROMs online because people understood digital to be a, a, a digital catalog at the time and that really yep. missed things and so I think what I am quite proud of the fact that we've we've been thinking quite hard about it and I'm deeply grateful to people like you and to, to Jason and all sorts of other people who've influenced that thinking I think we've taken a jobs to be done approach to the event uh, thought about the things that really matter and that has resulted in a an online thing that is shorter in terms of the amount of time but there are lots of opportunities where we can then signpost people to deeper thinking and deeper yep. learning we have again tried to keep it very special and keep it tight and keep a really engaged group of people because it's a cliche to say it. it's not just about the talks no. it's about the conversations and the thing that i've really noticed in the masterclass sessions and things that we've been doing is that people love and are energized by having personal contact in a way that you just don't have when you're talking to your family on zoom or you are talking to your colleagues in a a regular meeting format and actually seeing some of that kind of connection and that interaction and that excitement kind of come out has been fantastic for me, I have to say. So here, I want to just show you something because I think this is what fundamentally the jobs haven't changed, but mm. what's changed is the fact is, is like you said, now I can't get together. So what do I do? And so the way I'm going to just, the way I would articulate it is this, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Uh, we're going to go with this thing. So here's the thing is this, this is business of software in Boston. This is the live event, right? And it was so hard to do a virtual event because it had to be as good as, right? So, so if this was like, we need to go virtual, right? It's like, but it has to be as good as this. But the reality is, is if, if we're over here, it's like, no, if we can't do it, it's just gotta be better than not doing it at all. <laughs> and so your standard is, I wanna use some of this but it's literally gonna be, it's better than not doing it. And so what happens is these are always hard. So think of working, everybody who wanted to work virtually before COVID, well, you know, it had to be like, it felt like you were in the room. It had to be, you couldn't have anybody interrupting you. You can have people walking into your camera. But now the fact is, is virtual working is like when the kids walk through, it's like, say, hey, say hi. It's like, oh, I gotta, I, I gotta go fix something. People are, it's better than not working. And so the reason why this is all happening and working is because we're actually better for, you know, we're, we're coming from the re reference point of not doing it at all to doing something versus doing it perfectly where this was the best we could do and coming down to it. We could never come down to something, but you can always come up from something. And so to me, that's, that's really the trick here is that, that you've been able to say like, the reason why it was so hard is like, but it's not, you know, live. I don't know how to make it as, as, authentic. I don't know how to make it a special group. It's like, yeah, all right, now, all right, I'm going to do these talks, but like, right, how do I make it special? Okay. It's not as good as this, but I can't, when this goes away, 
now I actually have to innovate to figure out what's next. And so to me, it's that reference point of being doing nothing because you never actually had the op option of doing nothing. It was always you're going to do bo boss in Boston. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's really interesting. I, I I'd like to think that second box is a little bit a little bit higher there. What what it, it as is, an observation? Is, I, to be honest, it's on different <laughs> dimensions because I think the reality is it's going to take you to places where you now you have three products or four yeah. products that are way better than the one product you used to have. And so part of it yes. though is right now you, like my thing is, is in 12 months, I, we're, I'm gonna come back to Boss and it's gonna be here. And in no. 12 months after that, it'll be up here. And now you're gonna have three more products to do it. And you're gonna actually help people like, right now is like, well, I had to pay for the flights and I had to pay for the hotel and I had to pay, but now I actually can actually do it in a virtual way and pay more to actually help learn than actually pay to travel. Yeah. And so, yeah. so all of a sudden you think about your cost, but the, co the consumer side, they actually think about their costs and it's way more than just the, uh, the fee to get in. I, I okay. agree, I agree. So, um, sorry, I, I can't I help that's, myself. <laughs> that, uh, that's fantastic, we should do this so, more. <laughs> so my thing is, is I, know, I know you want it to be better than what it was, but the reality is like you're on a new trajectory and, and the jobs haven't changed where all of a sudden it's going to be, help me learn, help me be, uh, you know, if you look at the jobs, it's now, my belief is you're going to actually end up having three products that, that literally match the, uh, the, the jobs that, that, you know, boss does. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I think, you know, the, the challenge for us is to really get across those core values and the value to people where I'm seeing, to be honest, a lot of other events that are taking a very different, yep. very short term view, which is like, oh, we've got to get this next one out of the way and then we'll be back to normal. I don't think we'll be back to normal for I don't know, several months and possibly, possibly years. And that's an opportunity for us to absolutely, as you say, redesign that experience and that product and they we'll come out with- They and still when, have they still have the job to network. They're yeah. not going to be able to network in the new forum. You're going to have to actually figure out a new way in which to actually help people network, right? There's ways in which you're going to prototype it. You're going to figure it out. It's going to be a form of speed dating. It's going to be a form of, of uh, surveying and doing matching. There's going to be a whole bunch of different ways, but it's like, I, my belief is within 12 months, we'll have the networking virtualization done. Not done, but yeah. started. But right now we're just trying to make sure we can actually kind of, it's almost like what we did in the 90s with, with websites. We just took our brochures and took them online. Yeah. We're just taking the conferences and bringing them online. But now once they're there, we're going to actually make them into really different things than the conferences we used to have. Yeah. If you really think about it, the conference itself was a very limiting platform. It was all in one place. People all had to fly. You had to actually have multiple people there. There was lots of logistics. My belief is this is actually going to actually enable you to have more people and influence more people and ultimately have more impact. Yeah, I agree. And actually, I, I think the networking piece, I don't think you can do it at scale. I don't think you can do it with thousands of people. I think where we, where we actually found networking online for the European conference was better was that if you're in a room with 400 people, the, the random interactions, the unexpected interactions are really powerful and people always talk about that. You can actually connect more people up more efficiently online for those types of things than you can actually in a in a room and one of the things we found is that introverts found it easier online to, to yes, network and engage with people which so, is so so my thing is is that we're going to learn a lot from the dating sites because i believe that dating and networking are very similar they just have different intents <laughs> right but they have very similar mechanisms and the whole notion is like i usually get introduced to somebody from somebody well, there's an app called Hinged that basically, that's how they actually, the dating site that does that. My belief is we can actually think about hub and spoke. So there's whole different ways in which to say like, how many people do I know? So for example, I'm prototyping right now a networking where it's a, it's a, it's a virtual whiskey. And it literally is uh, uh, one person invites five people together who don't know each other. 
and they have a virtual cocktail together and they actually go around and talk about each other and they have a and the person who's the hub picks a topic. And so that's how we've been handling kind of networking is like, how do you go have a, how do you go have a beer or a cocktail with somebody or a tea or a coffee when you can't actually go out? And so, so it's very that's interesting. Right. I, I just think that, that like you're, you, you can't replicate all of it now. So there is going to be, it's not going to be as good as boss, but over time, it's going to actually always be better than boss. Yeah. So I, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for the future.